Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for some more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 DLC 11 news and content here on the channel. We actually have a very, very important video that I wanted to address what's going to be going on starting later tonight, going into tomorrow with the next raid, okay? So, the next raid is going to be coming out pretty soon. It's going to be versus the Supreme Kai of Time. This is the second, like, promotional raid for the uh, 6 million copies sold, whatever it's called. I don't even know at this point, but uh, the first thing that I wanted to get out here is that Supreme Kai at Times uh, tournament, the Kanton City tournament, is actually back. So you can go and unlock her as well as her skills now. Um, it's been going on since, I think, a couple days ago on the 7th, and obviously it depends on your time zone and everything. Uh, most people probably just started uh, seeing it go live yesterday. You do need online for this, okay? I can't stress that enough. People still think, you know, they're going in here and they're like, well, I, 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 it's the date, it's back, but I can't connect or I don't see it. it. Trunks isn't there. Guys, you probably don't have a line. You do need online. I know that's sucky and nobody wants it. It's, you know... I understand. I, I, I'd rather it not be online. It shouldn't be online. It's the only thing from this DLC that, that shouldn't be online, but whatever. I digress. This is actually um, live for you, so you will need that online subscription service, whether it be PlayStation Plus, Xbox Live, or um, Nin Nintendo Online, whatever the hell it's called. Nintendo Online's got the best name, which is real simple. Or um, if you're on PC, then you shouldn't have a problem. If you are using mods and you've disabled the um, easy anti-cheat, the uh, EAC, is it easy anti yeah, EAC, is that what it's called? Yeah, if you disable that, then um, you will have issues connecting to it. You have to connect to a multi-lobby, get in there, and then you'll see the online event command above one of the dude's heads that's like in front of the world tournament. So uh, that's going on right now. It's going to be ending later today, I believe. Um, I'm not sure what the conversion I guess it's I guess it's seven o'clock depending on where you live like for, for, for here I guess like I'm CST so again the time zones are really stupid I hate that they use this military time or whatever so that's the thing that ma makes things very confusing and I'm gonna explain that throughout the rest of this video but uh, yeah it's it's live so definitely check that out um, the second thing that I wanted to get into is uh, yesterday night, late, late, late last night, depending on where you live, time zones or whatever, it could not even be live for you right now, but you should go and check your uh, time space rewards area or time space gift area, uh, the little like kiosk over there in the uh, main lobby. You should get all of your raids now. There was a big delay that I made a whole video about yesterday explaining what was going on and what the situation on that was. So this is actually working now. Um, they apologized for whatever the issue was. They didn't really explain what the issue was. It was just a way they called it a phenomenon. <laughs> like, whoa. This is like something that I, I like I was out of our control like it, it definitely could have been out of their control uh, you know the whole team behind this probably didn't know what the situation was it probably had to do with um, you know the influx of people the great amount of people that actually entered and uh, you know participated in these raids because you had special drops you know usually raids don't have these special really really good drops that people want which are the uh, customization keys, CC mascots, etc., etc. So, uh, your rewards should have been, I believe, Broly's battle suit and Chilai's wig. And when I say Broly's battle suit, I mean the one without the restraint collar. It's just the basic normal one. And uh, yeah, just Chilai's wig. Those are the two. I think if you scored uh, fifty thousand. You would have gotten everything that was significant or important or at least new in terms of costume so you should be good to go there just go on your game check if you get a little notification saying that you received gifts from the time space uh reward area go there and pick it up you shouldn't have any problems with that it should be going live or it still probably is being sent out depending on your time zone so that's out of the way we got all that cleared so supreme kaya tide tournament um where you can unlock her is back be sure to do it before it ends. Uh, there's going to be another uh, another one on the 14th. So uh, there's a whole there's a whole schedule here that shows everything that you need to know. But uh, I'll be sure to at least update you guys and break these down every single week or whatever to let you guys know whenever they are live. I know people are busy and all that. And um, get your time space delivery stuff. Now, moving on to the meat. The meat, the very important stuff that we need to get into. 
which is the new Supreme Kai of Time Festival raid here. So we did the time, uh, time controller raid. That was the last one that ended on the 6th. Now, three days later, we have the ninth. So this is probably going live, again, depending on your time zone. Um, if you're living in Europe, it's probably going to be going live around noon. Uh, I think uh, Burkhall, he's he stated that it goes around noon for him usually. And I think he is actually from the UK or at least European region. So um, he'll probably be uh, updating you guys at least on that side of the world. I'll try to update you guys here in the U.S. Um, because this one, this one's annoying. The U.S. is super annoying because whenever it says, I would say give it a, a full day after for it to actually be seen and go live. You'll see again that little online event um, icon or whatever. And I'll, I'm going to make a video tomorrow uh, showing you guys where to access it what the drops are, how the event goes, and how difficult Supreme Kai time is. I'm actually very excited to do this raid. It's going to be fun. So uh, it'll be starting Wednesday, which is today on the 9th at, um, I like to say 20 o'clock because it pisses people off. But obviously that's 8 o'clock. Um, you know, it's military time. It's confusing. If you do the conversions here, um, yeah, 20 00 is 8 o'clock p.m. And again, that depends on your time zone. Um, you know, for me, that's going to be uh, central. I guess if it's going to be um, like EST, that's going to be 9 p.m. And then if you're PST, that's two hours earlier. So that's going to be 6 p.m. Now, that's not very accurate. I don't think that's accurate at all. Um, again, time zones are so confusing and how the conversion works on this crap. It really doesn't make any sense. I would say just go off of Japan time if you want to. And let's actually do the conversion right now for Japan time and see what that shows. All right, so depending on whichever one it's actually following, I'm assuming it's going to be Japan time. It states the same times on the, you know, the U.S. site, the actual Bandai Namco English site. So I'm going to say that let's just follow Japan time because that one I feel like has been more accurate because I tried to follow the other one last time and it did not work at all. So 8 o'clock p.m., which is 20.00. That is going to be 6 a.m. my time in terms of the conversions from Japan time. And Japan time is actually going to be 10 a.m. So in Japan, it's going to be 10 a.m. For me, it's going to be 6 a.m. in the morning. So it makes more sense that this would be going live at 6 a.m. the following day. So on the 10th, tomorrow at 6 a.m. CST, that seems to make more sense to me. I would still say look, be on the lookout for the other times as well. So if you want to... Go and check late tonight around maybe, I mean, obviously, depending on your time zone, like 8 p.m., obviously. Check around, like, late tonight and see, okay, maybe the raid is live. If it's not live, then most likely it is following that Japan time, so go through it um, and just wait until tomorrow. I'll, like I said, I'll be covering it. It was live last time, the very next early morning. I wake up around, like, 5 a.m., and then I saw it was live pretty early in the morning. So 6 a.m. makes more sense to me on the 10th so uh, I would say tomorrow September 10th um, 6 a.m. CST that'll be I guess 4 a.m. PST and 7 a.m. Uh, EST and I know some of y'all have school and everything so I understand you can still complete the raid it's gonna be going on I think it lasts until the 13th so September 13th you're gonna have uh, around like you know three to four days to actually complete this obviously depending on time zones and that will end at, I guess that's going to be ending at 10, 10 at night. It's weird that they give you like that extra two hours or whatever. But um, the time space rift or whatever, it's going to be in the sky above the Kanton, um, I guess like time patrol area where you can do the versus mode and photo mode and everything. So it's going to be above that. And then you just go all the way behind it. You got to go pretty far up um, and you got to go super far behind it. Again, I'll make a video tomorrow showcasing exactly where it is. It's a little you know, online event icon, and it's just a giant purple ball in the sky or whatever. And you'll see, if you're in a multi-lobby, you'll see people, you know, flocking to it. So, the rewards. Let's go ahead and go over the rewards, because this is the important stuff here. So, obviously, your participation, as always, is going to be a Hurt Drill badge. Just, you know, one of those. And you get 50 TP medals. It's great. You know, there's that double TP medals thing going on and EXP and all that. So, that's good to know. You know, you got a lot of opportunities going right now. So make use of it. Make use of it because you're going to need those TP medals for those CC mascots and artwork in crack. It's a 1500, bro. So um, individual performance rewards. If you do 5K, you get the uh, 50 TP medals, the title more, and the Supreme Kai of Times clothing for uh, the shoes. So you're going to get her boots at 5K, which is actually super easy to get. Uh, for 15K, you're also going to be getting TP medals. 
as well as her clothes. So you're going to be getting uh, the upper half. Again, this is all for females. As much as us dudes would love to wear this, you know, beautiful looking clothing. You know, you got the Gucci whatever that is that she got on. I don't know. Supreme Kai Gi. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we, we ain't going to get that. I apologize. I got something in my eye right now. Something flying in my eye as a mosquito or something like that. Trying to suck my blood. But yeah, um... <laughs> At 30k, you will be getting the clothes on the lower half, and at 50k, you get the TP medals, uh, Super Soul Goku. My hobbies are reading and sports. Shoutouts to the Broly movie for that one, not the new one, the old, the original DBZ one. And uh, 100k obviously gives you the TP medals, 50 in the title Avenger. Pretty sure y'all can get 100k in like, I don't know, less than an hour, probably like 30 minutes. Probably you get 100k in one match. Now, when I say, you know, the points. Okay, let's explain this. Let's explain this real quick. 5k, 15k, 30k, 50k, and 100k. Those points are accumulated throughout your whole entire time period of doing this event. Okay, you go to the leaderboard, which is right in the center, where it's like right behind the photo, uh, photo mode little robot. Go behind him, and then click on that giant center cylinder thing, and you can actually go to the actual leaderboards, and you check the leaderboards and your name will be on there look at your name and look at your score that shows you where you're at in terms of your points you do not have to get 5k 15k 30k 50k or 100k just in one match okay because i don't i don't know i don't know how good people are if they can get 100k in one match probably but don't worry about that you don't have to be like oh I, if i didn't get 100k in this match then i won't get it no you'll be just fine as long as you get uh, 50k you should get everything important and new now, I don't you don't need to do 100k but 50k will get you the full set of Supreme Kai of Time clothing so make sure you have a female uh, cac as well as a um, Super Soul Mahabiza readings and sports or whatever so that is all the information that you need I hopefully answered every single question that you guys had in terms of confusion because some people are new to this game so that's why I'm trying my best to you know explain these raids and how they work because they're so damn annoying sometimes and confusing but uh that is gonna be it uh i guess raid boss the one after this will be jiren again i'll do another video breaking down that the day of slash right before so that you guys know okay this is what i need to be expecting this is what i need to prep for whatever it may be so get all your preparations out of the way uh make sure you get your gifts from last time um those should be live by now and yeah, we're going to be having fun and covering it tomorrow. So uh, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, uh, ring my notification bell. I'll be updating you guys as soon as stuff goes live. This is what you're going to be getting. You're going to get some tits here. Let's freaking go. Yo, yo, can, 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 can we just, can we just like appre appreciate the, hold on. Bruh, 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 bruh. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm out. I'm ending it off here on a beautiful note. Let's go. Take care. All right. Peace. <laughs>